Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using the 11th problem of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So customers at Ice Cream Shop took a survey. 144 customers rated the shop at being very satisfactory, and that's 45% of the total. We want to know the total number of customers who took the survey. So we know the people that said it was very satisfactory. We know the percent, but we don't know the whole. So how can we do that? Well, first, what we can do is we can estimate this. And we can actually probably get a pretty solid guess as to our answer. If 144 customers equals 45%, 45% is just a little bit below half, right? So if we were to double that, this is how we can estimate it. Double that to 90%, so that's almost 100%. And double this, and we're going to get 288. So a little bit more than 288 makes me think it might be D, 320, because that's the only one that's a little bit bigger. But how do we know for sure? Well, let's set it up correctly. So we have our part, and we have our whole. And one of these is going to be missing here. We're going to use our ratio. We're going to look at it as a fraction. So there's 144 out of, let's just say, x. We don't know how many total people took the customers. That's our question, x right there. And that equals 45%. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of changing with this percent. I want to get that into a fraction so I can make an equivalent fraction and I can use cross multiplication. How do I change 45% into a fraction? Well, when you go percent into a decimal, that's our first step. It's two times to the left. So let's take our 45%. You put the decimal always after the ones place if the decimal is not already in the number. Well, 45% doesn't have a decimal, but I can find the ones place right there. All right, there's my 45 decimal percent. Move it two times to the left, once, twice. We're going to put a zero there, so there's something in the ones place, so it's 0 0.45. Drop that, so now I've got 45 hundredths, which makes pretty easy. 45 hundredths. That's why decimal to fraction is very simple because this is the hundredths place. That's why place value is very important. So I'm just going to call this 45 hundredths. And so now we have an equivalent fraction and we can use cross multiplication. So this 144 times 100, which is going to make 144 with two extra zeros, that's what we know. When we multiply by 10, 100, or 1,000, we just add the zeros to the end equals this, 45x. So we've got 45x equals 14,400. What we could do is we can just divide both sides by 45. That's how algebraic thinking works. You can do the same thing to both sides of the equation, still keep it balanced. We're going to divide both sides by 45. Well, guess what this does? 45x over 45 just cancels. I've got x all by itself. I just need to do 45 into 14,400. Now I'm guessing it's that 320, so I'm going to use that as kind of a guide. 45 doesn't go into 14, but I bet you it's going to go into 144 three times. Let's see, that's 15, 12, that's 13. All right, so 135. So that is going to be just 9. All right, so 45 goes into 90 twice, and that's going to be even. That's 90. Got nothing left over, but it's not 32. We've got one zero left. We need to bring this back in. 45 goes into zero, zero times, and there we go. Our answer is going to be 320. If you want, you can multiply that back. You could do 320 times 45, always a good idea. But guess what you're going to get? 14,400.